Come here, sit. Good. Sit. Sit. S sit down. Sit. Good. Good. Now, so this puppy, this is my parents' dog. They've been having a lot of issues with her. They asked me if I would take her. Um, their struggles are she's out of control. They can't get her to settle. Um, she's pulling real hard. She's testing major. She's nipping and biting at my dad, jumping up on everybody. Um, she's a very sweet little dog. I'll give her that. But she's a, a dog that tests. And so yesterday I picked her up and a couple things um, about it were my dad uses the slip chain. And so she's used to it and she drags him around with it on. And so the effectiveness of correction has not been there. Part of the issue too was there was a, she had a nylon collar, just like a nylon flat collar. And that would get in the way. I saw it a lot of times where it would get in the way. It would get in the way of the ability to have a good correction. Now the rings are touching each other. She's real volatile. She's a real volatile dog. I can't pet her. So I've had her for less than 24 hours. Um, I can't reach down to pet her because if I do, it gets her typically, no, well, that's not bad. Usually when I reach down to pet her, she gets so excited. You just saw before I pointed at her and I pointed at her and she went, and she kind of plays and she kind of, like right now she's in, she's in neutral of, I'm not sure, I just gave her a pretty good correction and she understands I'm on the fence of getting another one of those. So. What I like about that is, is it tells me she's pretty smart. She recognizes the guy at the end of the leash right now isn't gonna take a lot of my crap because I have done that to her yesterday. She just freaked out and was like a wild Mustang on the end of a rope. And she fought it and fought it and fought it. And I gave her a couple real firm corrections, probably firmer than they should have needed to be. But they had to be because if they didn't, we would have gone through the same thing my dad was going through with her, a wrestling match. Every time he would take her out, she'd pull and he, went, he was afraid to correct enough to get the change in behavior and he didn't get it. And so she became numb to the idea of a lot of nagging pressure, but not enough to change behavior. So I put her on this slip lead, on this slip chain. I've been using the adjustable leader collar as well and I think she responds to it actually really well after a few corrections, but I wanted to show you this. So there's a little, that was a correction. That was enough to get her change. I'm gonna move right now, that tail is high and she's telling me, I'm not convinced I'm gonna do what you want me to do, but I'll, we'll see. Cause she also realizes she's smart enough to realize he doesn't take a lot of crap compared to the people I'm used to. Heel, heel. And so, come on. I'm simply gonna try to get the dog to move with me. Good, very good. Sit, sit, good. And there she takes a little bit of praise. Yesterday I couldn't pet her. That's why I said today I can't pet this dog because I, can, I have a hard time looking at her without her getting so wound up and so excited that she loses her cool. So she's got a very short attention span, sit. And it's because I don't think she's been asked to do nothing. I think she's very much, there's her attention, sit. So she's looking at Ben and she'd like to play with Ben. She'd like to chase the Tweety Bird that just made the noise. She'd like to chase the fuzzy that's floating through the air. She's got about five seconds where she goes, I'll pay attention and I'll behave and then I'm gonna do something. And in the past, she's been able to do it. There it is again, sit. In the past, she's been able to get away with it. I'm not going to allow it. I haven't taken her off the lead except for when we first started out here today. And she, get, she let me put it on pretty good, but it was kind of a game. She does allow me to take and put the lead on pretty well, but she immediately thinks she's free, sit. And she likes this idea of grabbing a hold of whoever's hands are out there. So, good. We're gonna get her used to taking this, no, on and off. And every time it comes off, she thinks she's free. Sit. Good. And on. Now, the best thing for me to do would not be to do this here, because if she does get loose on me, it's a game of play, run away, um, catch me if you can. 
There's the attention span or the lack of it. So when it happens with her, I'm not gonna recognize it. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna give her a correction, we're gonna restart. But it is short, it's about maybe 10 to 15 seconds before she decides, I wanna do, sit down, before she says, I wanna do something different. She's very used to doing whatever she wants by my parents' house, sit. My parents, I don't know that they know much better. Hey, dog is antsy, let's do something different. Dog is antsy, it's, there it is, sit. And so what's gonna happen is her 10 second her 10 seconds of listening to the person who asked her to do it is gonna to have to turn into 12 seconds. And then from 12 seconds, 15, from 15 to 20, from 20 to 40, and we're gonna slowly get her to start realizing we just don't do stuff fast. And you need to be okay with it. You need to accept it, sit. Good, good. And we don't need to be paying attention to everything else. We need to focus on me. Heel. So instead of her letting her lose her focus, that time I had her sit. Sit. I had her move, and now she's going to sit. Good. Good. And before she loses her focus again and decides to go screw off, I'm going to say, seat her. Heel. Good. Sit. Good. Don't respond, you get corrected. Do it right, he says good, no correction. I do like that she's letting me pet her now today. I couldn't even, I had a hard time looking at her. Almost to the point where she, we lost her, this was a little bit longer. Seat her, heel, good. I almost couldn't look at her without her, sit, without her getting so excited that she would jump up. She really likes to get up on her back legs. Yesterday, that's all she would do. Today, not nearly as much. I think part of it was she's in, in less than 24 hours, she's learning who she can get away with stuff and who she can't get away with stuff. She can't get away with it with me. This one's going a little bit longer. Good, good, heel, heel, tip, good. Good, I'm not even sure how old she is. Five months maybe, good. I can see she's teething. She's got adult teeth. She's got some adult teeth coming in and pushing out these canines, sit. She's probably somewhere between that four and six months. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit. Ah, 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 and look what that does. Too much, sit, sit. So we're not quite there yet. But these first days, all I'm doing is getting her to figure out that I'm not that bad. She should listen to me. She should respect, ah, 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 sit. She should respect me. And I can tell right away, it's a very, very short focus, time of focus. Good. That is one where she wanted to jump up and she knew she was gonna get corrected if she did. Good. So she did the right thing and I let her know. Very good, heel. So help her out, move her, sit and reload, reload the time, Set, reset the clock. It's like a shot clock. When I move away from her, the shot clock is shorter because it's an extra element. So she's got some stuff. She's got some good stuff. Heel, sit. She's got some good stuff. Sit in her. It's just very inconsistent. And so as soon as there's a little bit of weakness from the person hanging on to this lead, she's gonna abuse them. Sit, good. And all I'm doing now, sit, sit. We went way too far, too much. We just went too much, sit. Good, don't lose the battle. She digs in a little bit to test and I'm not gonna lose the battle. All I'm doing right now is trying to get her to look to me. Good. Good. And the reason is, get her to sit. Get her to look for direction. Sit down. Good. Tone got that, not the correction. Good. That's a session. Good. She's tired, she's, work, she's being asked to work extremely hard right now mentally. Sit, and she's just not used to that. But she's smart enough, she can handle it. She's just not used to being asked to do it consistently. My dad could get her to sit a couple times, but then it's a free-for-all. 
and the sit is about five to ten seconds, and then it's do what you want. Well, I I'm ask, I'm going to immediately start asking her to ex expand that until it becomes more often than not. Oh, very good. And then I'm going to ask her to do it until it becomes all the time. Good girl. Hey. Very good. And that's a great little sign for her to say, I'll give in. I'm not going anywhere for a while. We've done this for a few minutes. I might as well get comfortable. Very good. Heel. Sit. Good. That's it. Good session. So this is cedar. And we're just, ah, ah, ah. Sit. And I did, and that was on me. I went down there and wanted to show her some love. I wanted to rub her ears a little bit and tell her how much I like her because I do think she's got to know that I like her. I just don't like her when she doesn't behave well. But that was too much. That was way too much for her. And then, and I got a feeling she gets petted a lot, way too much at home. And that's where my dad's getting all these little bite marks on his arm because he's putting his hand in her mouth. He's down there trying, and half the time it's, it might be because he loves her and he's trying to show her praise and she's not nipping and biting and then he's trying to stop that and then it turns into a wrestling match and then it turns into a real test of domination and all the time he's getting bit. Good. Heel. So let's just keep our hands away from her. Don't give her a chance. Sit. Sit. Good. That's enough. Good. That's enough praise for her right there. So that's it. First day with little cedar. We're going to build off of that. Good.